So this question is a diagram question. Let's switch my color back to black. So diagram. All right, so I say that obviously because of the diagram that's provided here. We have a triangle. So anytime I notice that there's a visual uh, provided by the question, I always look at it before I read anything just to see, you know, what would be useful for me to label here um, before I get kind of bogged down by all of the information in the question. So something that's of note, anytime I see a graph, I want to really get a sense of scale. So for instance, because I know that the point C is at uh, 1 comma 3, that tells me that on my x axis, that's 1. On my y axis, that must be 3. And then B would tell me that this must be 5, right? And the 3 is already there. And then point A tells me that this is 4 and that this height here is 5. Okay, so now the question itself says in the figure below, the vertices of triangle ABC have x, y coordinates 4, 5, 5, 3, and 1, 3, respectively. So we've already dealt with that. What is the area of triangle ABC? So the area of a triangle has a formula. That formula is 1 half the base times the height. So the base, I'll switch back to red now, the base of this triangle is between C and B. The distance of that base, right, is between 1 and 5. So that distance is a total of 4. So my B here is equal to 4. The height is from the base to the highest point of the triangle. So that's there, right? So that corresponds with this height from 3 up to 5. So that's a height of 2. So my height is equal to 2. So now all I need to do is plug all this, all of this in. So I have 1 half base, which is 4, times height, which is 2. 4 times 2 is 8. 1 half of 8 is equal to 4. And therefore, my final answer here is choice A.